The FDEC VOR, or Very High Frequency Omnidirectional Range Instrument, allows you to determine your position in relation to a virtual VOR ground station. The advantage of the FDEC Virtual VOR instrument over a real instrument is that you are able to virtually tune up any object in the navigation database, so you can practice VOR tracking on an airport that is not equipped with a VOR station or track radials to and from your house or local farm strip, for example. In addition, while real-life VORs are typically quite short range, the FDEC VOR instrument is not limited and you can virtually tune a station over hundreds or thousands of miles if you so wish. If you're new to understanding how VORs operate, think of the ground station as the hub of a bicycle wheel. The hub has 360 spokes that run from the hub to the wheel edge, and each one of these spokes is referred to as a radial. The VOR allows you to track to or from the ground station using these radials. Let's tune up a local VOR and see how the instrument operates. So you can see here that the current instrument is not tuned to any VOR or ground station. This is indicated by it saying no station tuned, and in the bottom right hand side here, the radio navigation icon is shown as red. If we click the icon, we will be presented with a navigation database. And in this case, let's look up for the local VORs. So click on VORs. And we can see there are a number of VORs in our current vicinity. They're ordered by range. Um, so let's pick one that's fairly close, but not too close. So let's pick um, Oakland as a VOR DME, that's 16 nautical miles away. And you can see immediately there that it's tuned Oakland VOR. It's 15 nautical miles away. And given our current speed, it will take 14 minutes to cover that 15 nautical miles. Um, our current OBS that we've got currently set is about 340. But as you can see, as we rotate this, what we're doing here is selecting a radial that we would like to fly, in this case, to the Oakland VOR on. So if we keep rotating it, eventually you'll see the needle will start to move. Um, so currently, if we fly at one degree, which is basically due, due north, we'll fly straight towards Oakland. So we look at that on the map and see how that works. Um, yeah, that's pretty much straight on. Um, so we've got 13 degrees of uh, magnetic declination at this current location. So that's why the, the, the angle is slightly off. Um, but what we can do here is we can rotate it and we can move to a from uh, and it does the same here. So if we wanted to fly away from Oakland VOR on a, uh, on a 181 um, radial, then that's set there. We can see here the distance um, to the side, left or right of track that we are. So you can just see here that we're flying further away from the radial. Uh, if we moved it to the other side, for example, um, set it to 185, uh, you can see the number would be reducing. And eventually this needle will pass through the center and start transiting out to the right. And again, if we look at the map, that's the reason why you can see the solid line is effectively a, an elastic band between our current location and the Oakland VOR. And you can see um, in, in the desert there is a faint dotted line here, and that's the actual radial that we've got set. Um, if we move our location, and we can do that just by dragging ourselves on the map, um, then we can see here that we've moved our location, uh, the VOR radial has remained the same. Um, so we can actually do some VOR training here. So you can see it's indicating that we're using a mock location now. Um, but um, if we look at the map, we are to the left of the radial, which is depicted here. And if we move ourselves to the right and head back to the instrument, we can see we're to the right. So this is a really nice aid to help you help familiarize yourself with how VORs operate and work. So if we move ourselves there, 13 nautical miles. Again, if we rotate this so it's close to our location, but not there. So you can see here we are to the right of the radial. Um, and if we move ourselves um, to the south of it, and then head back to the instrument, you can see that depicted there as well. So if we, if we wanted to fly to Oakland VOR on our current radial, it would be radial 266. And you can see there that the, the lines are dotted, uh, are lines are lined up. So the solid line is two and the dotted line there is, is the reciprocal heading, reciprocal, reciprocal radial. Um, so let's go back to our current location by hitting this button here. And that's where we are. Uh, and by the way, we're running a virtual track in the background. If we look at the flight deck here, now the mock location banner has been removed. Um, so there. Um, 
so in the VOR instrument settings, all the settings are basically to do with what is visually depicted on the instrument. So if you want to declutter the instrument, you can remove all the kind of enhancements and just get a very basic uh, VOR. So none of the settings like time to station are shown anymore. And even the ident is being removed at the bottom here. So you can choose to customize the VOR um, however you so wish. Um, and all four of the settings are to do with uh, visual um, features on the instrument itself. That's the VOR instrument. I hope you enjoyed it.